Tucker. And he's scared. You wouldn't believe it. He's scared of the, the office. Um, he's been here for about a week. And every time I come, I can't find him. So today I just found him be hiding behind the furnace. And all I did was kneel down. And he came right out. So I carried him. He didn't mind being held. <laughs> Look at him. And I just put him in this room. I mean, literally 10 seconds ago. And he just started rolling around on his back. So he's such a lover. He, um, he, what are you doing? He, um, he's just scared of the place. I mean, he came from a home. I'm not sure why he was surrendered. It wasn't to any fault of his own, but the uh, family couldn't keep him for whatever reason. Um, but he's already been neutered, and he's, I think he's a little over a year old. Like 13 months, I think that's what Kathy told me. But, um... Like I say, he's been here probably about a week, but he's just scared. One t for a couple days, he was on top of the cabinets. So I got a couple of pictures of him up there. And then I couldn't find him the last time I was here. So today I'm like, I'm going to find Tucker. <laughs> so let's get him out of this, this place. He hates it here. He's so scared. He's hiding. But oh my gosh, all you have to do is, all like I said, all I did was, I thought I was going to have to lure him out with food. All I did was kneel down and talk to him and he was out in two seconds. And look at him. Isn't he beautiful? He's a pretty good sized cat. He's got medium length hair with a fluffy tail. Somebody's out there crying, wanting to come in. And he's um he's got the white, the white paws and the white chest. Can you look up? I didn't bring anything. This is a Sunday. I normally don't come in on Sundays. So I don't have my little my little toys and stuff with me. But so I can't see if I can give him a look up. He's just, come here. He's just rubbing. Can you look up? There's his face. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So if you want a lover, if you want a really affectionate, um, friendly cat, I don't think he'll be shy once he gets in your home, obviously. It's just, you know, if you live in a home your whole life, probably had him since he was a kitten, since he's only 13 months, and then you get thrown into this vet's office with dogs barking and all these cats that you don't know and strange people, um, you know, it's scary. <laughs> But obviously, he's a lover and he's gorgeous. I think he'd be okay with other cats because he's not, you know, he's kind of hiding from everyone. So he's probably just afraid of them. So I don't think he would be aggressive towards them. Um, yes, you are. But I don't know how he is with dogs. You know, as long as your dog is cat friendly, I usually don't worry about it. Um, usually the cats will eventually adjust once they see the dog means no harm. Well, I have to wrap this up. It's almost three minutes long. But as you can tell... This is an amazing cat, amazing young boy, so do not pass him up. Come get Tucker. <laughs> I'm in love.